How's it going, folks? Nice to see you again, real quick, right? Um, day 13 of the 22 ways to automate your freelance business. Um, and in this video, I'm going to share with you a way that you can be sure to be able to create a seamless experience for all of your clients. If you're watching the replay, go ahead, share this out and jump into the conversation as well in the comments. I would love to hear your input and answer any questions for you. For those that are jumping into the, the Facebook Live, um, go ahead, share this out. I'd love to be able to um, thank you personally because I do see when somebody shares something. So I greatly appreciate it and I want to call you out on it. I want to say thanks. So. <clears throat> How's it going, Ben? Ben Ben's one of the faithful, right? He's here. I think Ben has been on every single one of my Facebook lives in person too. Um, unless I'm wrong, Ben, you, you you're gonna have to uh, enlighten me. But I do see you each and every time, and I do appreciate that. Um, so, <clears throat> and and it doesn't seem to be any specific time too. No matter what time I'm here, Ben's here. So. Ben, Ben's a go-getter, right? <laughs> oh, you did? Okay, well, all right, anyway. Um, so, here's, here's the thing, right? <clears throat> We're gonna talk a little bit about an unsexy topic, but without it, you're gonna have a very inconsistent and, and lackluster experience as a client of yours, right? We're gonna talk a little bit about documentation today, right? <clears throat> having proper documentation of your processes in your business allows you to be able to step away from the business from time to time. But it also makes sure that every single process and every single thing that you do in your business is done thoroughly and accurately, right? So here's the thing. I'd be willing to guarantee anybody that's watching this video that you don't have every single document, every single process documented, do you? If you do, leave, leave it uh, a comment or give me a thumbs up. I'd love to be able to talk with you about it because I don't have every single, I don't have every single process documented and I know I should. That's the bad thing. <clears throat> so here's the thing. Um, the reason why is so that you probably know that it's good for you, right? I mean, you know that you need to document things, right? So, but the thing is, if you think about it from your customer's perspective, if you have a, a, a clear and concise way of interacting with your, your customers and your clients, right? Whether that's onboarding and sales, lead nurturing, even offboarding, right? When you're done with a project, how, did, how was that experience for your clients? If you have a document on each and every one of those processes, you can iterate over that, right? You know exactly what the, each and every single customer is going through because you have it, the, all the one, two, three steps right, right there to know what they're experiencing, right? If you can iterate on those things, maybe ask some questions on things, I mean, how many times do you offboard a client and then, oh, I forgot to ask him about maybe seeing about a referral or maybe seeing about a video testimonial for myself, right? If you have these things documented and outlined in things, in documents, then you won't forget about these things. Plus, you'll be able to get things quicker from your clients. Your clients will also come to expect a certain level of professionalism. And that's the thing. I spoke a lot about being a flaky freelancer in a past video, right? Well, you can't be that flaky freelancer. And to not be a flaky freelancer is to tick all the boxes of every single process and make sure there's a level of consistency each and every time. Here's the thing. The easiest way to document something, and right, I said it in the beginning, this is an unsexy, comp, uh, unsexy topic, right? But the easiest way to document something that I've found is by recording it, right? 
So here's the thing. This is what I do, right? If I have a proposal going out, right? Let's say I've never documented this before, and I do have a document on this. If I have a proposal going out before, as soon as I know that I'm starting the proposal process, I click record. I do everything. I, you can use ScreenFlow or Camtasia or any screen, screen capture program. Press record and just let it go. Do your thing as if you were going to, right? If you have an email, cut and paste that email into a Google Doc, right? Once you're done, press stop. Now you have a recording. Send that recording off to Rev.com or somebody to be able to transcribe it. I know Ben, uh, I, I believe it was you, Ben, right? That, suge that had a um, suggestion in the Facebook group about transcribing videos. Do that. You know, be able to transcribe those videos, offload that. Like Rev.com charges a dollar a minute. So if this thing costs 15 minutes to make, Somebody can type all of that stuff up, right? For $15 and it's done. Then you have this transcription of your process. All you have to do is just do a little bit of editing and it's done, right? Put how long it took you to actually do that up at the top. And then the next time you do it, now you have the one, two, three, right? See if you can improve on that time as well. Because now that you have the steps outlined, if it took you 40 minutes before, maybe it takes you 35 minutes this time. You start bringing in, <clears throat> you start bringing in profits then. Once you start shaving those minutes, that's where profits start building in. And you can start automating things. Um, ben says, no, it was a tool to do a transcription yourself, but it's a good idea. Oh, all right. I knew it had something to do with transcription. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so. That's what, that, that would be my suggestion. Um, it's what I've done. Uh, and it, it's great because it's nice and easy, right? All I do is, like I said, just press record. Anything that I've scripted out, I dump into a Google Doc. And then I send that video off to Rev.com. They transcribe it, get back. Now I have the one, two, threes. And I slide that Google Doc, you know, that template, that email, or whatever it might be that I'm sending out into that Google Doc, and now I have it. So, having proper documentation allows for a seamless experience for your clients as well as yourself, right? Um, to be able to, you know, <clears throat> understand that you know that the, pro the flow of what you're doing is done thoroughly and accurately and nothing falls through the cracks there, right? So that's the first thing, right? Creating that seamless experience for your customers. The second thing is to be able to, you know that you need to document it. So how do you do that? The easiest way I found is by recording it and then shoot that recording off to a transcription service to have them write it up for you, right? Now you have this asset, you have your documents, right? So now you can hire somebody and say, here, this is how we do content gathering for clients. Here's the document and allow them to be able to edit it, right? As that process improves, then that's where profits build in. So definitely, definitely I encourage everyone and anyone to be able to document stuff. Um, and nobody told me that they have their all their processes 100% documented, so get to it, right? Um, ben says, what's the best screen capture software that you use? Uh, yeah, there are a lot of them. Um, I've used ScreenFlow for the most part because it's nice and easy. Um, I've used Jing by TechSmith. Um, that's also a good one. That one's actually free for five minutes, I think. So as long as you keep, I, I've used that in the past for clients like if I'm doing like a screen capture of how to do something for their website as long as it's under five minutes Jing is great uh, ScreenFlow is a paid Mac app Camtasia is the Windows counterpart to ScreenFlow um, so yeah I mean there's a lot of them out there figure out what works best for you like tools you know I love tools but you want to figure out what works best for you 
um, and what you can learn quickly, right? Don't let it dis disrupt your workflow. Um, so this week inside of the, the Sustainable Freelancer group, I'm going to be running another demo, right? Last week I ran a demo on content, co uh, tracking your content, right? In a nice little spreadsheet. This week I'm kind of up in the air. I have a couple of ideas on it, but I'm going to be running it and it's going to be at a better time suited for maybe a broader spectrum of of time zones because I know some some of you have kind of struggled with the time that I had before um, but go ahead jump into the Facebook group res.com slash Facebook the sustainable freelancer group and I have a post in there about what the topics going to be I'm leaning towards something in regards with Z Zapier and IFTTT so if you guys have any questions or, or want to hear something in specific in regards to those jump in there let me know i'd be i'd love for i'd love to be able to do something that you guys want right so that's it for me um and that's that's all i've got i don't think there's any other questions so until next time it's your time to feast